Hello guys, this is Arjun and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 9.3.5 to iOS 6.1.3 this will only work with 32 bit Apple devices first you need to jailbreak your iPhone that is on iOS 9.3.5 to do so first watch jailbreak video by clicking on the top right corner link now after jailbreaking your iPhone you guys need to download iOS 6.1.3 IPSW which is a iPhone software file by going on to this site First select your device, then you get a full list of all iOS versions that was supported by your device. The one with the green check is currently signed by Apple and the rest of them with the red cross is not signed by Apple which means you can't install them directly into your iPhone using iTunes. So guys download this iOS 6.1.3 IPSW file by clicking on this blue download button. I have already downloaded this file so I'm not downloading it again. Next we need to download the latest version of behind which is version 0.5. So click on this link and you will be redirected to the download page from where you can download this file. I have provided all the links in the description in case you guys get any problem to find the website. When you have these two files, open the behind folder and run behind as an administrator and click OK when you see this pop up. Now choose the IPSW file which we have downloaded by clicking on this button. After that behind start to analyze the IPSW file and when the process is completed you will get this pop up click yes and then connect your iPhone. Now you need ECID of your phone which you can get by clicking on this link. If you want to jailbreak your device and install Cydia when you downgrade then click on these checkbox but if you don't want to jailbreak just leave them as they are and click on build IPSW file. Now behind starts to build a custom IPSW file and this process will take some time. So let me fast forward this video. Now you get a new folder on your desktop containing the custom IPSW and a IBSS file which is required for entering in Pond DFU mode. After that you get this pop up saying this firmware is not signed and it will be signed during the restore and some warning. So don't worry just click on ok and you will be redirected to this page with custom IBSS file already selected. But if you don't go to your desktop and find this folder where you get all your files and then click on select mode to change the IPSW creator mode to K-loader mode. After that click on these three dots to select the IBSS file which is a .img3 file. Now find your device IP address by going to your iPhone Wi-Fi settings and select your Wi-Fi network properties and then enter your device IP address in this box. Now open Cydia and search OpenSSH and install it into your iPhone. And then click on this Pond DFU mode. And wait till you get error message displaying we can't establish a connection with the connected device. So guys this is the most important part of this video if you missed it you will get a blank iPhone screen. Now don't click on this ok button first unplug and then replug your device and after that iTunes will open automatically. So first close iTunes and then you can click on this ok button. Now you guys redirect it to this page where you need to click on these three dots and select the custom IPSW file 
which is created by behind and after that click on the restore button. Now you see this command window and behind logo on your iPhone screen. Now we don't need to do anything just wait and watch. After behind loads its necessary files, we get Apple Classic Boot logo, which means iOS 6 is installing. Let me first set up this iPhone and then I will show you iOS version number. As you guys see this iPhone is now running on iOS 6.1.3. And as I also selected jailbreak and CDO option during installation, this version is already jailbroken and I have CDO pre-installed. So this is it guys, if you get any errors comment below I will help you out and if you like this video please give thumbs up and want more videos like this then please do subscribe my channel by clicking on the red button. Until then that's been it, talk to you guys in the next one, thanks for watching.